Playing with words. The nouns with multiple plural forms. Hello, English learners. Today, we are going to dive into a special aspect of English grammar that often intrigues learners. Nouns with multiple plural forms. Yes, you heard it right. There are words in English that have not one, but two or even three correct plural forms. By the end of this video, you will understand these exceptions better and will be able to use them more confidently in your English communication. So what are these nouns with multiple plural forms? Well, in English, there are certain nouns that can take more than one form when they are pluralized. For example, the noun, leaf, can become, leaves, or, leafs, in the plural, depending on the context. This section will introduce you to this concept, helping you grasp the fundamentals before we jump into more specific examples. In this section, we'll discuss regular nouns with multiple plural forms. These are nouns that typically follow the standard rules for pluralization, adding s or s, but also have an alternative plural form. Some examples of such words are index, indices, used in technical contexts, or indexes, used in general contexts. Dwarf, dwarfs, used in general contexts, or dwarves, popularized by J.R.R. Tolkien's works. Remember, the context usually determines which plural form to use. Next, we'll cover irregular nouns with multiple plural forms. These nouns don't follow the standard rules for pluralization and have unique plural forms. In addition, these nouns also have an alternative plural form. Some examples are die, dice, used in games, or dies, used in engineering. Ox, oxen, traditional plural, or oxes, rare, but acceptable in informal usage. Again, the context will help you decide the most appropriate form. The key to mastering these words is to understand and practice them in context. You'll often find that one form is preferred in certain situations or disciplines. Reading widely and observing how these words are used in different contexts will be tremendously helpful. Don't be afraid to make mistakes, they are a great way to learn. And that wraps up our exploration of nouns with multiple plural forms. Remember, English is a flexible and evolving language, so these plural forms reflect that dynamism. Don't get overwhelmed with the exceptions, instead, consider them an exciting feature of the language. Keep practicing, and soon, using these plural forms will become second nature to you. Happy learning, and see you in the next video!